Here is the next question. What is crosstalk and how it will affect the performance of an IC design? See, crosstalk in an IC design is a phenomenon that occurs due to the formation of coupling capacitance between two adjacent wires or the metal layers where the signal transmitted on one metal layer has a significant impact on the signal transmitted on the adjacent metal layer. Now, this could be simply understood by the diagram that you see it here. So from the diagram, I can say that there are two metal bond layers running in horizontal direction for a definite distance. In such case, the potential difference between these two metal layers creates a coupling capacitance, causing them to charge and discharge like a typical capacitor. And this phenomenon is highly influenced between the distance between the conductors, their cross-sectional area, and the size of the metal layer regions facing each other in the layer will determine the coupling capacitance also. Now, due to the cross-coupling capacitance between the two adjacent layers, the signal transmitted on one metal layer, say the net as the aggressor net, will have its influence over the signal that is being transmitted on the adjacent layer, say the net which is influenced as the victim net, which we generally call it as the crosstalk, thereby affecting the functionality and the timing of the circuits. So the impact or the effects of the crosstalk due to the formation of cross-coupling capacitance is twofold. They are the functional impact and the timing impact. Now, with respect to the functional impact, see, crosstalk can cause logical failures by inducing the noise in the neighboring metal layers. For instance, if one net is switching either from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1, and the other net is at a constant value, that is either logic 1 or at logic 0, then the switching signals may cause voltage spikes on the static signal. And these spikes are called as noise. So the wire which influences the noise is called as the aggressor net. And the wire which is affected by the noise is called as the victim net. Moreover, if the noise induced on the victim net crosses the noise threshold voltage of the receiving gate, then it may alter the expected logical output state. So, the impact of the output logical function is due to the crosstalk noise induction by the aggressor net. Now, moving on to the next impact of the crosstalk, which is timing impact. Finally, to summarize, the cross-coupling capacitance can significantly affect the reliability and the performance of the integrated circuits by introducing the noise and the timing issues that can degrade the signal integrity and the overall circuit behavior. So the design engineers must mitigate its effects to ensure the reliable operation and maintain the signal quality, especially as the integrated circuits advance to the smaller geometries. This is all about the crosstalk and its effects.